Let's do something it. Something that's going around <laughs> viral right now. Uh, Drea Michelle is pregnant. Okay, the reality star Drea Michelle. Um, she is pregnant with an N- NBA um, star, Jalen Green. Okay, there is a 17-year age gap between the two of them. Mm. Okay, and someone else who's pregnant just announced it this week, Joy Chavis. Um, she is a video vixen. She's having a baby with Tra- uh, Trayvon Diggs, and she is 10 years older than him. So we're having lots of ladies get pregnant by younger men. Congrats uh, to the ladies. I would say congratulations. Congrats. I w- what, Congrats. Are, what are your guys' thoughts? I mean, what's the dilemma? What's with this, what's with this age? Do, do we feel bad? Not bad, but do we feel okay with the age gap? I mean, how do, how do we well, feel about this? Well, for me, of course, <laughs> uh, just just being, you know, for the speaking for the fellas, there's a double standard for the ladies, unfortunately. <laughs> it really I'm is. glad um, that you brought that up. There's a double standard. Double standard because as a guy, I'm not gonna front. When I saw Al Pacino and, and Robert De Niro doing what they were doing, I was like, "Look at you, man! Yeah, you play like, on, hey, player. You give us play, on, play on, play on, player." He like 80 years old, getting like a 40 year old lady. Look at you! I don't oh, know what player okay. line to use, but he was just like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. old, but girl, you can have all my He's money." A legend, I know, that's I know, why. I know. So when a lady does it, it's sort of like. Like double standard. Like, why is she trying to get a young man? I mean, whose business is it? I think, hey, if she can, if she can pull a young twenty-two year old Jalen Green and he's happy, um, Drea, right. I'm gonna salute to you. First of all, the 40, 40s is the new. She's thirty-nine. 30s I anyway. think she's they she's are. thirty. I think she's thirty-nine. Hey. I was going to ask you something off camera. 40s and new 30s anyway, right? True. Could be the new mm. 20s, right? I mean, right. people in their 40s. Like and she looks 20s. good. Absolutely. She yeah. looks good. I, I would she's say take, that. She case, takes care of herself. People are saying that she's trapping him because he's an yes. NBA player. Yes. He young. He don't know what he's doing. But uh, wasn't she with uh, um, NFL? She was with Orlando Scandrick, too, who while, was yeah. with the Cowboys. Yeah. So she's been with. I don't you know. think that was an age gap, but I mean, yeah, I don't I, think that was an age gap. But listen, she's been with athletes in, in this day and age. If you're happy, then that's all that matters. Who, who cares about like the shade room Absolutely. comments and what people are saying? Shout out to the shade room, by the way. Um, <laughs> I, y- y'all be liking my comments too. Exactly. I, yeah. There you go. I, I, I Throw here, that out I, there. I'll be here about fifteen thousand. Throw that out there. there. No, but seriously though, like, who cares what people think? Like, right. If you're happy, what does it matter? Right. And Joy Chavez, I mean, yeah, she's she went out with Bow Wow. She she has a she has a kid with Bow Wow. She has a kid with Future. And um, we met Trayvon at the Dallas Cowboy. He signed my football. Was, oh, so, so it's gonna be a third child. That was yeah. him. Yeah, that was Tra- Trayvon oh, Diggs. I didn't know met yeah, him. his his brother Stefan, who yeah, played for absolutely. the Buffalo Bills. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Tra- we met Trayvon. Do we you, all met do Trayvon. Do you think? My only issue is that out of a marriage situation, I think that's like a big thing because mm. Drea she came out with an interview and she says I'm non traditional. And mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, you want to have a baby? I want to have a baby. Let's just raise the baby together. I don't know, man. I, I just feel like that's not the way to look at things. I mm. think marriage is the ultimate foundation of, like, you know, um, an agreement between, a partnership between two, two people. people. And when you're not in that partnership, it makes it a lot harder, you mm. know? So I just think, like, a fan, like Nick Cannon's doing his thing. This I got to check Nick out Cannon. the interview she had. Yeah, yeah. And I also hear that she's dealing with, like, a struggling with the child as well, with the baby, oh. the pregnancy. So mm. gotta look more into that. But I just think the marriage part is kind of important. We should not exclude. So would you that. want? Would you want to see Jalen and and Drea married? No. Well, I, I guess it. I guess that I feel like she's saying let's have a child regardless of being married, married or not. Because there's people who've had children out of wedlock, right? Mm-hmm. And that's not the issue. I'm being in relationships. Mm-hmm. But I don't even know if this is a relationship. I, is this a relationship or they is it are. just like I they're think together. they're like a relationship. Okay. Yeah. In okay. fact, he tatted her, tattooed her name on his. Body. Oh, it's a relationship. They're, oh, yeah, they're yeah. together, together. Yeah. And wow. Okay. You think, it's, you think it's gonna last? I don't know. I mean, I don't know much about Jalen Green, but he be dunking on people. That's all I know about Jalen Green. I see him in the highlights. He just be he's he's definitely. I hope he has a great long NBA career because he's yeah. he just he's just starting. You just know. Started, yeah. Um and. I will say someone like you're going out with someone like Drea, who's probably used to a certain lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, I just hope the the money keeps rolling in for both of them. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see where I'm, you're going. I'm just I'm just keeping it real. Like the money end up short. That rookie contract don't you know what I mean? Like so I think he's gonna be fine because he's a very good player. Yeah. But um, you know, I, I just hope I hope it's for love and, and you know, I hope for the best. But I do know you know the criteria. Do you do you think that uh, if, she, if he didn't had that NBA contract, 
Do you think that would be something that she would pursue? They probably would have never even met. Okay. Right. She, I think she has a standard of people. There's certain ladies that have standards of who they Financial go out standard. with. Financial standards. Joy, Joy Chavez, I mean, she's right in it. I mean, Bow Wow, Future. Like, they, this isn't like Ray Ray from around the corner. I mean, we just, I mean, I'm just keeping it real. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I'm keeping that into perspective too, as well. Okay, you know, right, okay. but I hope it works out for them. And like I said, she still looks good. She's taking care of herself. Yeah. He's a great player. Um, and, you know, I, I wish them the best. I wish Joya the best too. I don't know. It's Trayvon. Yeah. Joy and Trayvon. So. I mean, I hope they stay together as long as they're of happy. Of course. Both couples, as long as they're happy and working. Um, I don't see the problem. Junior with dying over there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm cool. I'm cool. Because I know what you want to say. I know you. Right. Right. I, I, I know what you want to keeping, say. I'm keeping it PG. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, Luminary Community, you understand. Man, go, you know, just go you know what it, it is. Go you know what it is. Go um, with the clicks. Go yeah, on. Yeah, you know. You know what it is. I mean, but yeah. What do you think he's trying to say? I mean, I, I said what I was just saying. I nah, mean. he's, uh, I said off air. I said off air. That's uh-huh. okay. He don't want, yeah. he don't want to say what he want to yeah. say. I, I want him to you say know. what he going to say. I just said what I wanted to say. No, I mean, it's, that's it's, what it's, it's all good. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I guess, okay, so basically, he's. In, if you don't have no money, it's just not going to happen, basically. That's what it is. I mean, but it's not yeah. just, it's not just, you know, uh, Dre and Joy, lots of women who are not celebrities have those yeah, standards yeah, yeah exactly. Well. Junior so said, like, no money, no honey. But that's what I'm saying. That, but like, well, t- <laughs> for, him being 20, for him being 22, though, you yeah. know? Yeah. Because when, she, when, she she sounds- when she's like 69, he's going to be what? 40-something. 40. What's that like? Maybe he could rap real good. Maybe he got like you know that. Maybe he talks like he knows how to talk. And you know, I just don't see. Really a, I don't see a the forty a uh, forty year old man with a sixty seven year old woman. I, I don't mm. see. It could so, happen. So could it could happen. So you wouldn't. Go, would you go? How about this? Would you go? Oh, guys this go out with good. somebody who are this getting good. Ten to twenty years older than you. It would if ha- single, would you guys be doing? That? I, I th- I've I think, never done I think it. For the, I, I would say. If single, there's only one woman that that would do that. Just one. Woman. Oh, who? Did, Janet Jackson? No, they they both start with a J. But no, not Janet Jackson. Jenny from the block. That would oh, be the, oh Jennifer be, Lopez. That'd be okay. the only one. Jennifer Lopez. That'd be okay. the only one. Uh, because you know why? Because she continues to like not only just reinvent herself as a person, but she's always fit. She's always in mm-hmm. shape. She's always mm-hmm. like keeping up with the time. She cares about how she looks. Right. Mm-hmm. Not saying people in their sixties don't, but. You right. look at her. That's not your average grandmother, bro. She doesn't, you see. know, she yeah. take care of herself. So that'd be it. I see. I mean, there, there's a, you know, there's a couple for me. I mean. Okay, that, go that ahead. Like name them out. Let's go. Know. Go ahead. I, mean, I, I want to hear We them. all know. I mean, Halle Berry. I mean, I mean, I heard she, <laughs> I heard she a little crazy, but you know. Halle Berry. I mean, I, I know, she is crazy though. I mean, you sure you want those? I, I don't know. I, I don't know Cut her. Your ties. I don't know. I don't know her. I don't know J Lo either. I don't know none of these people. I just said I heard. Okay. You know, I don't know them. Halle Berry. As far as how she looked. She's what is she like in her fifties? She looks amazing. We need to do a. Uh, a Hallie we looks great. Do a Google check on Holly Berry. Hallie looks great. Um, um but um, yeah, for, for sure. For me, I would not not date somebody seventeen years younger than me. You wouldn't date Personally. somebody seventeen years? Oh, seventeen. Oh, even, I see. Even oh, 10, younger. Even ten years younger than me, I wouldn't. Even you know, five. You know. Even five years, I wouldn't. I just yeah. wouldn't. Oh, younger? You're not going younger. Younger. I'm not going. I'm the, Older, I'm the woman in but, this situation. Okay, so obviously. she's. I get you. You're the woman in this situation. Where the? Okay, I I get it. So you're not trying to get like someone from Oxnard College or something like that, real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he can't sweat. No. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't care if he has a job. <laughs> it's wow. not happening. Oh, that, I get it. That's I, hilarious. I mean, I think, and like I said, it's a double. Back to what I was saying, it's like a double standard, right? Because like I feel like, as a lady, right. Would you feel some kind of way like if you're going out in public and your man is like 22 years old and you're like in your 40s and like she wouldn't do it anyway. Like Um, even though I I understand you wouldn't do it. But like let's just say you like do ladies look at something like that the public like the way their perception how they're viewed in uh, like in the public as a big factor. Are you asking if I think they're gold diggers or no, 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 no. for you? Like, what, do you co- that do you, do you that, consider that, what the public right. thinks if you're dating somebody that's younger? Do you do you care? And your like, outcome. Eh, I like no, him, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't date him care. because of how people are gonna look at. No, him. I wouldn't care. What, okay, what other people got say. it. Okay, and you want to know? What? Neither do these ladies. No, they, they don't. They that's do right. Care. Would you date an ugly person by the standards of people saying, eh, he's not that good? Like, would you date an ugly person? If I thought he was attractive, there you yes. go. There you go. Okay, I would. Have you ever dated somebody that was ugly? 
to other people. I have I have dated people that I find attractive, and that other, other people, people thought was not. ugly. <laughs> and like other people may oh not. my god! But I'm not mad at it. You're not mad at it. No. And then, you know, it's like slim. Like nobody else wants him anyway, so that's perfect. <laughs> right? If he's ugly. Yeah. I just you know. <laughs> I don't know. That's not what I wanted at the time. Hey, man. I, I wanted that that unconventionally. Where are we going? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not, uh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, Destiny Rogers, what I like.